Hazak Ubauch. Good morning to all. Bezah Shemin Ha is going to be 6 p.m. Please be on time. As we continue in the Alachot of Hulesh Yishbo Sakana, a person whose life is endangered. Uh, Rav Vajra writes that in the, in the footnotes, he says that if a doctor says on Yom HaKippurim, let's take that as an example, but it's a, it's a concept. He says on Yom HaKippurim, the guy has to eat. Even if the doctor is not Jewish, it's not about Jewish versus not Jewish. Even a non-Jewish doctor says that the person is required to go ahead and eat. If the doctor makes an assessment and this is his field and he knows what he's talking about, it's not some sort of uh, speculation. He's saying this man needs to eat. He eats on Yom Kippurim, even though if he personally doesn't feel that he needs to eat, he still has to listen to the doctor. Even if there's a conflict between two doctors, let's say there's a mahlokit. One doctor says, Dr. Bit Shammai says he doesn't have to eat. Dr. Bit Hilel says he does have to eat. And they're arguing with each other, he has to eat. Even in that case. Exception is, if the two doctors that are in conflict, the one doctor is a specialist, and the other doctor is just kacha kacha, he's all right. But the other one knows a lot more than him. And he's the one that says you don't have to eat, you listen to that doctor. So that's the exception. But if they're basically equal doctors, He's required to eat. So we see again the concept that uh, pikuach nefesh is so great that even if the sick person himself says, I don't need to, and the doctor says he does need to, he's required to listen to the doctor in that case. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen.